Hello everyone, my name is the Fox. This is a Simu 1.11.4 running Breath of the Wild, and it is running considerably better than what we have shown previously. I want to apologize, my normal setup is not available right now, so that's why it's kind of super dark where I am currently. I kind of have just a make makeshift setup right now. Uh, but most importantly, I just wanted to get this video out as uh, I haven't put up a video in a good bit as I've been sick the past four days and I'm still technically sick right now but I'm feeling better um, but again I just wanted to get this video out as we can see up here we're running at around 11 FPS at the highest I've seen it go is 15 FPS but we kind of hover around 13 most of the time so I don't really consider this to be playable but it is uh, way faster than the previous version and the only reason that is is because we're not using um, the same amount of RAM that was required previously. On the 1.11.3, we were using, um, well, we exceeded 8 gigs of RAM. And now we're using uh, like 4.5 with, I don't have the full shader cache here right now. But um, even still, it doesn't get up that high. And when you're inside this uh, cave part, you can see we're dropping down like 9 FPS, 10 FPS. When you get into the cave, it highest that ever goes is like 18 FPS, 20 FPS. But it's still not not worthwhile. Like I, I mean, you would have to be really, really wanting to play this game without a Switch or a Wii U uh, in a handheld form factor. It's still going to need a lot of work, and I don't know if we'll ever see it. Um, one of the curious things about this, though, is that I am running right now uh, with dual core, uh, dual core recompiler. So if we go to CPU here, I can't change it when it's loading in game, but you can see here we actually have dual core recompiler checked. But if I go to single core recompiler, I actually don't get any speed increase. So there might be something weird that is still going on with the Win 2 uh, with regard to the Core M37Y30 and CMU in general. Uh, perhaps we're just <clears throat> not properly hooking into that second core for whatever reason uh, because I get the exact same performance uh, on the single core recompiler as I do the dual core recompiler. Um, so maybe we can still see better gains yet. Um, but even if we hit 20 FPS, I really don't think that's super playable. That's 66% uh, of the speed that we require. Uh, we need to hit 30 FPS to be able to actually play at full speed. Um, I mean, it would be playable, but I don't know. This this right now is, is pretty rough. Uh, though it's considerably better where it was last time. I think we could all agree on that. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that this was the update. So uh, there's still good times ahead. I don't know if we'll ever actually see it running uh, fully, but uh, it'll be interesting. Oh, one last thing that I did want to mention. There's a, there's a dude named Ben that I want to give a shout out to. Thank you so much for helping me out with this because he's been working in the background. Um, he actually has some uh, far greater inner knowledge with regard to Intel and Simu and all that other stuff. He was the one that was giving me feeding me all the information. And he is going to be one of the eight test units, uh, tester, eight testers. Oh, I'm getting cold. Uh, he's going to be one of the eight people that have early win twos. So um, I know that he's going to be putting up a lot of C-move uh, footage up, and I'm going to let him kind of have the, have the ball with that. So um, that's all I want to say. Uh, once he starts showing videos and stuff, I'll probably link to his site, uh, link to his YouTube feed on mine, and uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching.